Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today in this practical video i will guide you for steel reinforcement details in the construction of this rcc column and also i will guide you for spacing between two column and its steel reinforcement for each column this is commercial building the column is designed for four story commercial building so let me guide you for steel reinforcement guys you can see the size of this column is 18 by 18 inches with concrete cover guys you can see clearly here we have eight steel rods dia is 20 millimeter for each bar guys you can see this is lateral ties dia which is 8 millimeter with the spacing of 100 mm or 4 inches also guys you can see the spacing is to the distance of h by 3 we have spacing 4 inches or 100 mm for spacing next guys you can see hooks are bent on 135 degree length is 3 inches so this is one of the proper design for this rcc column which is designed for four story commercial building guys you can see spacing is 4 inches Next guys you can see hooks are provided alternately which should not be provided on the same direction guys you can see which is opposite of each other as I told you in many videos that the lapping should not be provided to the distance of L by 3 or at the middle guys you can see clearly here hooks are bent on 135 degree dia is 8 millimeter total we have 8 steel rods dia is 20 millimeter size is 18 by 18 inches r45 450 by 450 mm guys you can see clearly guys here the span between two column is 18 feet this is the other column same designs same steel reinforcement we have m25 grade of concrete for this column construction that one is the other one here the length is 20 feet width is 18 feet and length is 20 feet and this is the design of column guys you can see clearly m25 grade of concrete ratio is 112 where one is cement one is sand and two is crush or aggregate guys you can see also the construction of plinth beam depth is 18 inches width is 12 inches Here guys the span between two column is 20 feet on the other hand guys you can see this one is 12 feet for this column. This is commercial building. Below guys you can see this is the ground level and this is the plinth level for this commercial building. I will discuss the steel reinforcement inside this beam in next video because this beam is ready we have here eight steel rods four at the bottom two are top bars and two are side bars also i will guide you for its steel reinforcement in the other video as you can see clearly the lapping should not be provided at the middle of the column as you can see guys here look here guys as you can see they removed the shuttering from this column before one day
Don't use less than M20 grade concrete for beam and column. If that is commercial building or residential building, but we have here M20, M25 grade of concrete. We have 60 grade steel for this construction. Guys, you can see this is the plinth level. On the other side, guys, you can see they will provide. On the top of this, they will provide the plinth beam. Then they will go for superstructure. This is substructure of this commercial building. They will do the filling for this plinth level, guys, you can see. They used here, guys, third class of brick in the construction of this plinth from the ground level to the plinth level, which depth is about 8 feet. Here, guys, you can see the same level should be for all project, guys, you can see clearly. This is free space for proper ventilation, which width is 5 feet at the back side. On each side, we have 5, 5 feet for proper ventilation and sanitary. As you can see the plinth level. The front of this project, we have here main road. As you can see clearly. This is the span between two columns. Next, guys, you can see depth of the beam is 18 inches, width is 12 inches, and this is the column. Guys, this is the place for staircase from ground to first, from first to second, from second to third. You can see steel reinforcement. Its length is about 1.5 meter. Width of the stair is four feet for each flight. We have dog legs here for this. They will also do the filling. The road level is down from this plinth level. The, pl the plinth level from the road level should not be less than two feet. The plinth level should, uh, should be high from the natural ground or from the road level because nowadays after four or five years they are doing filling for the road guys you can see so therefore the level the plinth level should be above from the ground level or from the road level otherwise you will face the problem in the future hope this video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye